person now texting me up and then you say like this one like oh, oh. wait what's the time fam you already know fam like you know my mum is yeah i know it's strong but i gotta go still like get me they don't tell you when you first conceive a child that they'll be the greatest disappointment and greatest sense of pride you've ever felt. And here I'm stuck in my permanent residence on the cul-de-sac on the bad side of disappointment spell. Yeah, I said it. Go do this, go do that. Got two pills of water on my shoulders. One from society telling me that black girls are worthless. The other from a woman telling me that I'm worthless if I don't obey. Going home is an uphill climb. Adjust my armor, quick time. Mom, I'm here! Ah, you're late. Hey, that don't change it. We are in the bed to live now. Hi. Hello, darling. How are you? That's how normal families start conversations. Little by little, that stuff picks away at you. I roll my eyes, kiss my teeth, hoping you can notice me. Pun a peck on my forehead, hoping you can ask about the real me, the one I reveal in these four walls. Cecilia, 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 what have I not done for you, Naewe Mwanewe? Babalako and I, God rest his soul, we never came here to go through things like this. Huh? What have I not done for you? Ungandians, where were these things in your ear? Huh? All this time, I've longed for my daughter, for my bright, barefooted little angel to come home. I've never been a prodigal, but I've wandered aimlessly without Moses for light, wanting the words out of your mouth to be like sweet honeycomb. I admit, my artillery is plenty, instigating this truceless war. <laughs> 